Hello and welcome to my review of the full Slaves to Darkness army set for Warhammer Age of Sigmar from Games Workshop. Now this box set will cost you £120 but you can get it at a discount from third party sellers. So you could probably pick it up for just under £100. Now this set is fantastic. If you're on a fence about this set and you have a Slaves to Darkness army or you're thinking about collecting them or your first Warhammer Age of Sigmar army, then this is a fantastic choice. Don't be put off that you're only getting, say, three different units. Technically, you're getting four units because the chosen there, there's two lots of five. For that price point, you are also getting the incredible Slaves to Darkness special edition book right here. Um, one of these normally uh, would set you back about £50. It's got the gold edged um, pages, it's got the page keeper, it's got the soft touch cover, a unique cover that you'll only get in this um, army set. It's a decent number of 128 pages. Um, it's a lovely book. Loads of pictures, loads of fonts, uh, loads of content in this one. Um, and uh, we'll introduce you to units and models that you um, probably have never kind of seen before or witnessed because Slaves of Darkness, they do um, utilize some models and units from uh, other armies. Um, you're also getting um, some cards over here and these uh, War Scroll cards, a set of War Scroll cards, wow. Um, I think all of these should be separate uh, for 40k too. Um, I know I bang on about how um, I wish that all the rules for like the armies and codexes and things should be free or at least be free with your purchase of your, your codex and things um, or free with the unit that you uh, get them with just as like a digital, digital code or something but this is still uh, fantastic um, you know inclusion uh, you're getting some strategy markers uh, you're getting the war scroll cards some uh, units need, like Archeon for instance, uh, need a double uh, a double card because there's just so many rules. Uh, I would have liked the, the font to be maybe one step higher, maybe that size um, higher because I think this is a bit too small, a bit too small. Um, you know, these are cards, rules, you know, at this point the art isn't really needed uh, on, on the, you know, war scroll and that's why you've got the codex uh, but you know this is this is where the route they've gone down so that's a double paged uh, war scroll this for like Varangard again another thing I'd like to see is um, pictures of the the unit um, rather than just you know the war scroll itself I know that that would take a separate kind of picture per card um, but if you had them all laid out you could just you know find them I say easier um, or even have like uh, the battlefield roll or something on there or on the back, uh, just something to set them out a little bit easier. But this is fantastic, you know, you've got your cards, you don't really need to take your um, book anywhere with you, uh, other than some of the some of the rules that are probably take a picture or two on your, but probably take a picture or two on your phone. Um, and then you can just take these cards, um, uh, you know, for the force that you've got. This is the thing, like you can build your force um, and just take the cards that are for your force. Uh, you don't need to look around a codex and things, just take a few cards. Um, and there's your, your wall, wall scroll. I would have loved something like this, um, you know, 20, 30 years ago uh, for like Space Marines and um, other 40K armies. Uh, but I think these are, you know, fantastic. And these would normally set you back 20 pounds or so, I think. Um, so you do get these cards as well in the set and um, so very useful uh, for, for games um, and also just quick reference. Uh, you're getting your demon prints right here. It's an Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40,000 demon prints. The instruction guide uh, which I do have here uh, is, is fantastic. Um, it doesn't however show how to build the uh, Warhammer 40,000 demon prints which is yeah um, quite strange uh, 
but it does show you, of course, the Age of Sigmar one. Plenty of options, uh, feet, hand options, weapon options, loads of head options. Um, it's just a fantastic model. Um, so you're getting the Demon Prince in there, which I will think will be about 40 or 45 pound when it's released separately. Uh, you're getting three Ogroid Theradons. Um, they have a number of options uh, in their build. Um, just those for for an example. Um, you can give them all swords and shields, like all three of them. You can give all three of them axes. You can have one as a musician, one as a uh, banner bearer. Go check out my reviews for all of these if you haven't already, because they go into uh, much more detail on the unit uh, units themselves, much more focused. And then. You know, one of the best sets in the whole box set is the Chosen set. They're on these big Terminator 40mm bases. They are kind of like the Primaris of Chaos Warriors size-wise. They are big, big miniatures, bigger than I expected them to be. They're a dominating uh, unit and force in your Slaves to the Darkness army. They've got some excellent weapons and very good rules. And they're very, very strong. In terms of models, uh, again, loads of options. You're at least going to have uh, kind of two build options per um, uh, chosen. Uh, look, here's this one, for example. You can have the musician or just a chaos chosen. You can have um, one with a banner or a, a hammer. And then all of the other, I say, standard chosen, um, such as these, look, you can have them in different poses, different heads, different shoulder pauldrons. All of these kits uh, in this set are multi-part, multi-pose, many, many options. Just to showcase that, here are all of my spare parts from all of my builds. As you can see, um, a huge number there just from this box set of like four units. Um, you've got the shields, you've got the axes, you've got the swords, you've got the, the banners, um, you've got all the demon prints parts like the 40k power plants and things like that, um, marks of chaos, so many extra parts you're getting with this set. Um, it's not your kind of, I'd say, typical army set that Games Workshop have produced over the few years. I go back to like the 2019 um, Sisters of Battle set where there were no spare parts. It was all monopose, um, single miniatures, no options either. Uh, it was just what you see was what you get. And, you know, compared to this set with everything included, you know, you're getting so much more. You're getting a nicer book. You're getting units that have options and customizability. You're getting all the spare parts. You're getting the cards, which is a big thing. Um, another thing I would have added to this set to make it kind of perfect uh, would have been some dice. Yet, even if it increased the price of this to like 130 pounds, for instance, or 125, uh, I think, you know, given us sort of even 15 dice, but I would prefer 20, uh, you know, Slaves to Darkness dice that, you know, even if it's just a pack that they're gonna sell separate later on, and they just bundle that in with this box, I think that would be absolutely awesome and that would be perfect. If I compare uh, these Slaves of Darkness miniatures to ones that came before it, Games Workshop's, I say, lacklustre, um, you know, start collecting box set, which just included monopose uh, miniatures with no spare parts. Did include the uh, Chaos Lord on Karkadrak, which is a fantastic looking model, but this set compared to that, it is just amazing. Um, compared to the Chaos Warriors, again, these Chaos Chosen are just such an upgrade compared to these. Um, I thought these looked good, but the Chaos Chosen are in a different league. The Theradons have a nice synergy with the um, Ogroid Myrmidon. Um, so if you have a Myrmidon from a couple of years ago, you can use them as a battle line. The Demon Prince, you know, we've been after a, a Demon Prince for so many years. We've had to, I say, deal with that older Demon Prince, which uh, wasn't really my cup of tea, if I'm honest. Um, and now we get a multi-part, multi-pose kit with weapon options um, that's going to be coming out for Warhammer 40,000 too. In summary, I think this is one of the best army sets Games Workshop have produced. It doesn't include any old miniatures, which is what I look for. It includes a very decent uh, special edition book and it includes some extras like those card packs. If I compare this to their previous offerings, such as the Sisters of Battle Army set, the Orc Army set, and even the Black Templar set, I think this is the best of the bunch. No doubt we'll probably see a Tyranid Army set force and potentially a Dark Angels one. I wouldn't be surprised if the next one would be World Eaters. And I hope that they follow suit 
with this army set and have everything new for the World Eaters um, army set. I'm sure they will. What do you guys think of the Slaves to Darkness army set? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Archeon protects.